In the late 90s, I was working as an interface designer in Chicago, and uh, I was really obsessed with interface design, but I sort of realized that interfaces were going to expand beyond just the screen and the mouse and the keyboard. I had heard about this institute in Italy called Interaction Design Institute, Ivrea, and I went there with an interest in interface design and an interest in fashion. And that's where I met Francesca. And I was working as a normal fashion designer. It was like my first job out of university. I was a Valentino. They like, start to have all these ideas about like fashion that does a little more. And then people just tell me, no, you cannot do it. When we left the Interaction Design Institute of Rea, we formed Cute Circuit around this concept of designing advanced fashion that uses wearable technology. When people say wearable technology, they immediately think of either Google Glass or some bracelet that you strap on the wrist. But both of those solutions were taken pretty much from a technology point of view. They thought, oh, let's think of some technology and figure out a way to strap it on the body. And I think that for that reason, people can't imagine them wearing it because if you want to wear something, it has to be first and foremost a piece of fashion. So we designed the fashion, we designed the technology to go inside, we even write the software to control it and the software that runs in the technology. So we can make a dress that looks perfect like that because we design every single little aspect of it. Developing all our own materials, I think the most amazing thing is that we convinced the manufacturer to manufacture small conductive ribbons for us and that is definitely a game changer because at that point there are no electric wires, they feel horrible in a garment. We designed the way that we interconnect smart fabrics, microelectronics and traditional textiles in a manner that allows the garments even to be washed. Most of our garments are also connected to the internet, so we have truly telecommunicating garments. So at the Barbican Digital Revolution exhibition, we're going to be displaying this beautiful mini skirt that's going to be controlled via a small tablet and it's going to display tweets from the people visiting the exhibition and a series of animations. And the mini skirt was worn previously by Katy Perry for the iTunes Festival while she sang Roar. So of course we're going to have animations of tigers displaying on the skirt as well. I want to dress Lana the Ray. I think she's awesome. I want to dress Miley, and she's super controversial too. I just want to keep dressing Katie because I love Katie. I want to dress Michelle Obama. <laughs> I always wanted to dress Michael Jackson. <laughs> and we missed that opportunity. Over the 10 year evolution of, of the company Cute Circuit, we've seen quite a change though, because when we started and we said we were designing fashion with wearable technology, everybody said, what's that? We just got back from the Maker Faire in Paris two days ago. It was great to have kids come up to us, you know, teenage kids that knew all about wearable technology. And that's really inspiring uh, because it's great to see the new generation adopting the, the new technology. Mm -hmm.